Control C. Hello, everyone. My name is Del, or Delazar, or where the fuck you want to call me at this point, you know? Anyways, we're going to be watching a video. So, this is going to be from Don't Walk Home Alone After Dark. It's called The Worm. It's an animated horror story. It's spooky times. You know, it's the spooky month. Um, by the way, oh shit. <sighs> Anyways, it's the spooky time. We're watching a video. Also, at the same time, I saw it animated and said, fuck it, let's go. Um, I'm trusting that it's gonna be good, but we're gonna see what the fuck this is about. Got comment, got the little caption thing on, and let's begin. Ooh! I hope, for all of my goodness, that I don't have to deal with, um, copyrighted issues. Actually, you know what, let's check the credits here. Ooh, good credits. More than likely, just gonna copy and paste the names into the description so you can go and support them yourself. I'm not reading all of these names unless they show up at the end in like text credits. <laughs> Sorry, too many names. Nah, fuck it, I'll probably do it. Who cares? They look pretty chill. Uh. I like the captions just telling me it's like, uh, it starts bleeding into the music, then it returns to normal. Totally okay. It turns and builds intensity. Oh, fuck. No. Nope. And the electricity goes out. <laughs> the gas. So, I'm assuming the worm is a creature that's around, that's like slippery and slimy. That or it's more leathery and dry. Footsteps. It's underneath you. Is that. That's 3D. That's not 2D. That. That don't seem right. You know what? Let me just. Just gotta fucking spam click my fucking finger. Really? Ah, fuck it, who cares? I was gonna do a thing where I, like, just vibrate my hand really fast so I can go frame by frame, but arm stiffening and cramping and I don't feel like doing it anymore. I skipped too far ahead, didn't I? Nah, fuck it, who cares? Creepy whispers. Sparrow. How big is this fucking worm? Oh! Oh! <sighs> I want to punch it. I want to fight it. I want to kill it. <laughs> I want it to die. <laughs> I don't like that at all. Hold up. It's like every light you see, right? It just goes in and gives more definition to this fucking silhouette. It's also the neat little fact you can see it's the light that's being reflected here, which means that it's in the middle of the road, so you could have seen it immediately. The second I realized, I was like, these are going here, these are going here, those aren't supposed to be there. No, go back so I can get a good look at this thing's silhouette. I'm realizing I'm pushing the forward one instead of the backwards, I'm dumb as shit. Also, her face is extremely expressive, but no, this one fucking frame. Ugh. Okay, so, like, I thought the worm was gonna be, like, this thing with a massive fucking head, but it kind of looks like it has a really small head, big body, long t spine tail and arms that are pretty strong, but segmented like insects. Okay. <laughs> what? Oh, hell! 
Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. So I'm now picturing something dumb, but I don't think it's this, but it could be. Does anyone remember the certain worm from the fucking Adventure Time? The one that changes your memories and perceptions of reality, because I fe this is feeling familiar. No. No. Run, girl. Or man. No, you get to starve. What? D d are you okay? You're still okay. So we're going to feel flash forward or flashback, maybe. Pharaoh Moon was not at all what I thought she would be. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I wasn't given much time to go over her case file before our first appointment. But from what I had read, I half expected some kind of uncontrollable monster to walk through the door. Okay. She wasn't anything like that. She was quiet and guarded. Smaller in person than what I had imagined. The way he's talking about her is like talking about... It reminds me of the way that fucking principals would talk about students who have no longer with us is she dead imagine from her photograph a perfectly normal 17 year old girl that made it even harder to believe she was capable of doing the things that she did so she killed maybe she was the last surviving member of the so-called woodfield five a group of kids all from the same remote northern town who suffered a series of unexplained at times violent mental breaks oh clinical notes suggested some kind of shared psychosis though unlike anything i'd ever heard of in my 20 year practice no that doesn't seem to make much fucking sense it usually seems like something something's happening externally by all accounts Sparrow something had fucked. remarkable childhood no indications of behavioral difficulty good grades in school active social life no family history of mental illness to speak of. Her mother had been part of some offbeat spiritual commune years earlier, but had left that behind when Sparrow was quite young and eventually remarried. Mm. There was nothing to suggest any kind of underlying trauma or abuse. Though as you come to find in my line of work, that's not always so obvious. The only path to understanding what really happened in Somnophobia and the tragedy of wood for. I'm realizing, wait, I can read these. I'm so used to fucking text and most things just being scribbles. Hold up, you can actually read these. The fuck? No, we need to go back so we can read everything. I'm so used to these just seeing scribbles and shit. What the fuck? Okay, so caseworker August R. McLean, file 40926. Uh, but for here, this viscous, including for young use and an undead and unjustified adult male for discovery by Blink Municipal Police arrived at the late Friday night. One teenage girl who miraculously survived the. Okay, so we're talking about obviously the same one in custody by the local authorities. After receiving medical treatment, her identity has not been. Obsessed, deceased, no, 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 clarified, released, released, her identity has not been released to the general public, yep, and investigators are working diligently to understand her connection to the tragic event, neighbors and friends blank police, their shock and grief and all that, so they're blaming her for their deaths, Sir Johnson is a neighbor, said fruitfully, we can't believe this has happened, this is a nightmare. Local authorities were currently conducting thorough investigation to determine the motives behind the blank victim. Police spokesperson detected as an investigation organized memory of the victim of a blank memory of events. Okay, okay. And then Woodfield, fine, Doctor Unknown. By all accounts, Sparrow had an unremarkable childhood. No indication. Back. Beat. That's a B C K Bach Beck Black Bach Doc Deprivation or Deprivision Is that depression inventory? Wait, no. Generating 
Oh, generalized anxiety disorder. Oh, these are they just put PTSD. Uh, from the DSM. Oh, I know the fucking DSM. Okay. Intake interview. Oh, this is their paperwork. Okay. School, Pending approval. No family history of mental illness to speak of. Her mother had been part of some offbeat spiritual commune years earlier, but had left that behind when Sparrow was quite young and eventually remarried. There was nothing to suggest any kind of underlying trauma. Assigned staff, Dark Jacob Merrick. Though as you come to find in my line of work, hmm. that's not always so obvious. I'm going to try to the piece together the mystery as I go. Really happened at Woodfield was Sparrow herself. Mm-hmm. That would prove more difficult than anyone anticipated. I learned very little over the first weeks of our sessions together. Okay. Sarah was often uncooperative, careful never to allow the growing familiarity between us to weaken her resolve. Oh. I was not as strong. I became unreasonably attached to her. What? The endless medical diagnostics revealed nothing we didn't already know. She barely slept. The scratches on her arms were self-inflicted. Hmm. And aside from high blood pressure, she was physically healthy. No one was certain about what exactly was wrong with her. And she was getting worse. <laughs> What the fuck are you, you going to do to even help her? To months, and I was running out of time. Because if the natural sciences the aren't working. had determined that unless I could demonstrate conclusive progress in her treatment, Sparrow would be transferred to an isolated psychiatric ward and out of my care. I'm just going to say this right now. I'm hoping when they mean isolated, they mean just away from everyone else. But not actually away from all human contact. Because I'm just saying this now. Um, solitary is never a good idea for just people who are already mentally healthy. Putting an unhealthy person in solitary confinement is basically just damning them. Um, fuck you, government. Um, that That's my little PSA. Mental health hospitals can be great depending on where you go. But god damn it, that's a... Awful situation to be put in. I could have walked away at that point. I probably should have. Mm -hmm. What I wanted, what I've always wanted, was answers. After all that we'd been through, she wasn't a kid to me anymore. Yeah. She wasn't a monster either. Then what was she? She was a puzzle to solve. <laughs> Oh, oh no. You ever heard of a fucking movie franchise called Saw? That series is filled with puzzles, and you know what happens when you fuck up in those puzzles? You get bit, minced, munched, ground up, and burned. Stop fucking sticking your hand in the puzzle. God damn it. But, I will say this at least. They were definitely earned my subscription like a good chunk of time ago. I just didn't do it yet. <laughs> Sodium pentothal can be administered to induce something called narcosynthesis, a state between what? asleep and awake where the subject is highly suggestible. No. In most places today, the practice is frowned upon. Normally, I would never consider such a treatment, but given the circumstances, my options were limited. I'm going to just make my own assumptions, okay? Whatever fucking weird creature you were, creature, uh, that's me combining the word creepy and creature, um, whatever creature fucking worm that is, right? That thing more likely only appears when they're asleep, and possibly comes into reality while she's asleep, which I'm just gonna assume that is why it murdered all of her friends. So, you put her in half state? You're fucking yourself over. At least this time she can wake up. Well, that this could risk professional censure. Actually, no, because she can't wake up here because she's already awake. That didn't seem to matter at the time. Oh no, you're just fucking yourself. After the injection, Sparrow was brought to my office. 
we were left alone, and I asked her to count backwards from ten. Though before she even got to five, it was clear she knew something was wrong. <laughs> her breathing became shallow. Oh, and her eyes fuck. darted around rapidly. She began talking about a mist coming into the room that only she could see. She could hear a voice from within it calling to her. The drug had disoriented her to such a degree that I don't even think she recognized me. Jesus. Sparrow's small size and chronic fatigue made the dosage I administered tricky. She drifted mm -hmm. in and out for several minutes. When Lucid, I redirected her, asking if she could tell me what the voice she heard was saying. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. After a long pause, she finally whispered. What? Little bird. At that point, Sparrow was not interested in answering any of my questions. She just spoke, <laughs> and I listened. She said that it knew. It knew that was what he used to call her. The old, the old man. man. But the voice. What the fuck is this? Man's. It was something else. She said it comes with the mist. That it takes things from you and it grows. Adding to what it's taken from others. So this thing not only attacked one, it's not only latched onto her, it's been latched onto other people in the past. It eats you from the inside. She didn't know its name, but called it the worm. worm. As Sparrow lapsed into unconsciousness, I was left with more the questions. The fuck is answers. this thing? I arranged to have her return to her room and resign myself to the idea that I might never get the chance to understand the truth. That I had failed. Yeah, you did. I destroyed the records of our last session to prevent the review what? board from finding out what I had done. You destroy records. Oh, you shady as fuck. Over. You gonna get like No, nah, I hope you get what you get. That's what I thought. It was that night the dream started. Yep. I'm assuming that as soon as you know about what it is, it appears for you as well. So when she tells you the story, it spreads. It's literally an earworm. Oh my god, I'm dumb as sh <laughs> <laughs> It's such a pretty fucking nightmare realm. I was gonna say, if this is a fucking infinite hallway, I'm just gonna sit the hell down and wait for it to come for me, bitch. I'm not running down an infinite hallway, that's just dumb. Wait, come back! <laughs> uh... Yeah, nah, bro. You're fucked. <laughs> Come on now. Swim into the light. It's totally not gonna get you more fucked. Than you already are. I don't see this playing out good for either him or her. I wish Sarah and Sparrow didn't have to deal with it, but god damn it. Sparrow. It's not real, mother. <laughs> yep you know what this is less scary than i thought it would be
it's also just because I've seen enough horror movie creatures that I'm just like, ooh, neat. This one looks cool. Also, I've seen enough weird porn that I don't give a fuck anymore. It's actually a really neat design. How many limbs is there? One, two, three, four. So four limbs on on each side. Hmm. Actually, no, there's some more arms and limbs and other fingers. Oh, it's even not even on both sides. Interesting. Sorry, I'm more intrigued than scared by actually seeing what it looks like. It's the rule where you can fear the unknown, but once it becomes reality in the light, you don't fear it anymore. That type of shit. Yeah. Oh no! I can fucking hear is how to train your dragon. I'm sorry. I'm looking at this and all I see is fucking how to train your dragon with the scene where the big ass dude where the big ass dragon jumps up. I just see how to train your dragon. God damn it. I wait, wait, wait. Just whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Yep. I'm assuming every time you die, you lose a chunk of your sanity. Every time I go to sleep, it's the same. Mm -hmm. It doesn't really matter how the dream begins. Eventually, the mist will come. And with the mist, always comes the worm. <laughs> Just like she said it would. You can't run. That never works. It won't let you. We have to fight it. The best you can hope for is that you wake up quick. Before it begins to feed. Mm-hmm. At first, I told myself that it would go away. It could be a simple anxiety-induced aberration brought on by the stress of dealing with the case. Nope. But it was soon obvious no. that wasn't it. No. The nightmares didn't stop. I couldn't sleep. I couldn't eat. It wasn't long before my colleagues began to take notice. Things got so bad I had no other choice. Did you my admit yourself? Did every favor, pulled every string I could, and arranged access to Sparrow at her current facility. Oh. I needed answers more than ever. And she still had them. Hello. I almost didn't recognize her at first. She looked strong and alert. A stark contrast to the tired girl that I had spent all that time with. I'm now realizing it only have inhabits one person at a time, doesn't it? She gave it to him. <laughs> uh, nah, man. You're a full grown adult. That was a little girl. She don't deserve to have to deal with that shit. Suffer. I didn't have to ask any questions this time. Just by looking at me, she knew all too well what was happening. We sat down, and Sparrow Moon gave me what I needed. Mm-hmm. The worm is some kind of parasite. Yep. A pathogen. An ancient thing passed from host to host, manifesting in their dreams feeding on their deepest fears oh so it's not just feeding on you it's just feeding on your fears as well huh, let's think what are my deepest fears i don't fear death i don't fear life oh that's wonderful and that's another and that's the third one i'm not saying them out loud for y'all by the way i'm not I'm not going to tell people what the fuck I'm actually scared of. That'd be dumb as shit. Um, yeah, I just thought I'm on my top three tiers. <sighs> I'm not going to repress these bitches. They're a little able to exist. I'll live with them. It will not stop. Always hungry for more. It won't kill you. It doesn't want you dead. It wants what any good virus wants. Mm -hmm. To propagate. To be passed on. To be fed. 
Sparrow tried to hold it inside of her to protect others. Mm -hmm. She thought that if she could fight it long enough, it would die with her. She passed the worm to me the same way that it had been passed to her. <laughs> Just by telling me about it. Ah, uh, shit. You have to believe me. I am sorry for this. Now that I've told you, I don't know when. But sooner or later in your dreams, the mist will come. Oh, yeah, since he's telling us the story, we're fucked. Ah! <laughs> I welcome Master to come into my head. You get it eaten, tortured, and terrified. That's easy work. And a few things that do actually get me to actually be creeped out. Uh, I can live with those fine. But if I have enough other bastards in my head, not be okay. And with the mist, always comes the worm. <laughs> I actually really enjoyed this. This is fucking great. So I noticed that because I was looking before, right? Hold up. There's only like a few more of these. I'm probably gonna be putting this one up soon, but um. It's, it's good shit, okay? Good shit, good work, good people worked on this. I like it. It's fun. It seemed cool. But, um, everybody, have a lovely fucking day. <sighs> and I know, it's like, oh, were you scared? I was scared until I actually saw the thing's full design. Because it's just big, glowy, green monster creature. I'm like, okay, I can deal with that. You can't fight it, and you can't run from it. Okay, I've accepted it. Cool. Bring it. Come at me, bitch. Let me give you a hug. That type of shit, right? I'm not scared of the thing that tortures me. Anyway, have a lovely day, everybody. Um, wait, no. Now nah, we're fucking doing it anyways. <clears throat> Early concept and exploration. Jabberjock. Um, or Dominic Serena. Storyboards. Malicia Zoo. Christian... L Christian. Designs. Falcone. Or Falcioni. Shi Chang. Um, Melanie. K M Melanie. Jordan. Jordan. Scott. Shannon Cardi. Naomi Davenport. Bonnie Bodor. Robert. Rigging. Nathan Dickey. Rick G. CG Carr. I fucking knew that was CG. I was like, there's something off with that. It just felt weird because I was like, I'm looking at 2D shit and then I saw the movement. I was like, mm mm. Mm mm. That, mm mm. That, that's, something's up here. Mm mm. Something's wrong. Anyways, animation. June looks love. June, John look actually helped me with all kinds of random stuff aside from animation, like dabbling some design and stuff and getting the character and rigs to work great. Nice. Leanne's, Leanne. Sarah Connelly, Stefan Frank, Natalie Resta. Oh, this is for animation. Um, yeah, this is the animation chunk. Giza D I'm just gonna just gonna shut up, okay? Reason why don't I read all their entire name? Easy. Because I would like to rather not bastardize it completely, okay? If I don't think I'm confident enough in saying their name, I won't do it. Um Rob, Trisha. Arnett Hart Hart Hartnett, Jason Kelly, Colin Olivia, Alex McGowan, McGowan, Chantal Williams, Heather Wood, Crystal in, Crystal Ann Inns, Brian Wright, Barry Kennedy, Daniel Hogson, Grace Rowe, Melissa Corville, Christian Die, Kate Hunchuck, FX Animation. Matt Stewart, Danny Zenos, Matthew Timms, Darren Bird, Glenn Wright, Composer, 
Chris Gottelier vous mm -mm. Mm -mm. I'm sorry you, you I mm -mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> just nope um editing Mike Stefan Stef Stefanelli John McKinnon Mc Mc John your name is John music Ryan Carlson voice actor Aaron Scott sound Connor B and Julian Rudd production manager Nia Mircheva Mir 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 I'm gonna shut the fuck up with Nia anyways everybody who worked on this I really do love what you did like everything that y'all have put together has been fucking phenomenal throughout this <laughs> by the way have a lovely fucking day everybody um the description will have the link to the description and I'm gonna copy and paste all these names because you can't actually expect me to fucking type them all individually come on now I'm lazy. If they're already gonna be there, I'm just gonna copy and paste them first. Wait a damn second. Did I did I miss anyone? No, just the beginning, and I already got to the end. <sighs> okay, so uh, what else do I wanna do? Like the video. Of the original video comment on the original video subscribe to the original fucking channel the link will be down in the description thank you very much by the way please have a lovely day everybody i'd love for y'all to do that um yeah just just be good okay anyways bye everybody oh wait no i need y'all like comment and subscribe like the video if you actually enjoyed the video comment on the video if you got anything to say or something you want to do or just chilling just you know say whatever the fuck you want to do in the comments also, subscribe on the video because, well, I actually do have some little subscriptions. Number one, subscribe if you believe that you want to come back around and support. Also, subscribe because you think I am worthy of your subscription. Those are the two easy reasons, okay? And then, besides that, I don't, I don't know what else the fuck you really want, okay? Thank you. Anyways, oh yeah, I got subscribe star. That's basically the thing where I'll make 3D models and shit for $8 a month. For you, you get one free model, um, for eight dollars a month, every month, and that's what I get. Yeah, also get access to all the videos in advance. And if you don't want the three D stuff, I can also do pixel art. Though I am worse off at that than I get who think I am at three. Or I can write you paragraphs of stuff or like lore and other shit, or just proofread things for you as well. Yeah, I'll be your editor, your writer, and your artist if you need me to be. Eight dollars a month. Anyways, have a lovely fucking day, everybody, and goodbye.